I want to do a talk on the zero marginal cost society powered by days. Zero Marginal Cost Society is a book written by Jeremy Rivkin. It was written pre-blockchain and it came out around 2012. And what it talks about is how the cost of doing stuff is getting cheaper and cheaper. Um, days are distributive autonomous entities. They're kind of a DAO. They're like the foundation or I call the kernel of a DAO. They evolve into DAOs, DANOs, which are decentralized autonomous nonprofit organizations, and smart DAOs, which are uh, DAOs managed by AI. Think of the day as a starting point. All the day does, it's really simple, it sequesters Bitcoin and issues a native token. Now, why it doesn't issue, put out the Bitcoin, it sequesters it and um, redistributes the Bitcoin is because of the cost of using the Bitcoin network, right? Also, um, every day becomes a kind of like a micro uh, Fort Knox where the Bitcoin is the Bitcoin standard that by bringing in the Bitcoin, you are, uh, you're, it's like bringing, uh, buying gold and storing the gold and you're issuing just like the dollar was once backed by gold, the native token is backed by the Bitcoin within the day. So um, there's a great user case on this. Um, uh, uh, in, 2000 and, uh, in, in 2020, a company called BitClout um, secured over 5,000 Bitcoin through the community of their, um, of their uh, uh, website, and, uh, um, which is on the DESO decentralized social blockchain. So day, they weren't a day, but imagine if they were a day and that 5,000 Bitcoin stayed in there and the, their token, which was called BitCloud, now it's called Deso, uh, was actually rewarded out to the community for participating and being involved on the, on, the, on the chain. This is the future. Now, don't think of, um, you know, on, uh, on just dApps and everything else. Think of farming. Think of setting up um, a farming cooperative as a day where everyone buying the rice of the day is a member of the day, right? Everyone who is participating in the farming of the rice are members of the day. Um, and um, at the end of the day, everything that, that uh, goes through the day gets converted into Bitcoin, gets stored in Bitcoin, and pays out this, this uh, universal basic income dividend to the farmers, um, to the collaborators of the farming and also to the consumers of the rice. So when you purchase the rice from a store, you're actually joining that day and you're getting those tokens for buying the rice. It's kind of like, I think it was kind of like a rebate. Um, and um, imagine now, right, that this, that as um, um, we move towards zero marginal cost farming, and what is that? That's that's taking old tractors using CNC routers and other technologies. There's guys right now on YouTube. There's a guy who fucking could make a a, a, a cue table, you know, cue thing, uh, um, a snooker cue, shoot a ball in a in a uh, in a in a snooker hole every time, or or creates a robotic where you cannot miss um, throwing um, you know uh, a basketball into a hoop. There's some geniuses out there, you know, making stupid shit that could also ultimately be going and say, okay, how am I gonna turn this tractor into an autonomous tractor that's going to do the work of a farmer whose average age in Japan is 68 years old, right? Um, how can we turn around and create these D, um, DIY uh, spider robots that will just sit there on the side of the, you know, of the tambo, which is a rice field, during the day and at night using ultraviolet light, which will show the different color of the leaves, right? can go in there and just pick out weeds, just pick them up and drop them. Just like it has big legs and it has four little legs and it walks around, right? Around, it has a bit spencer, it reaches down. Um, it also has um, um, probably like a, like a little tank that uh, could be filled up for, um, you know, with, um, with fertilizer. Um, and if it noticed that the, the leaf or something, right? Um, isn't quite the right color, like not the quite right grade of shade. It puts a little bit of fertilizer at the base of that plant. So you're not having to fertilize the whole damn field and be wasteful. You can do, you can basically do micro fertilizing on it. Where would this fertilizer come from? Well, it come from all the damn um, jellyfish that are out in the ocean here because of climate change. You just have a, like an autonomous trawler out there, pick them up, scoop them up. They'd go through a processing plant 
um, desalinize them, right? Dry them out, desalinize them, turn them into a powder. And you've got this amazing, amazing, you know, um, fertilizer that uh, could be loaded up and put into the, you know, and, and added some other you know, other things to make it the right kind of fertilizer. So these things are all zero marginal cost. It doesn't really, you know, once you build the uh, the, the autonomous tractor that cuts that does the field, um, once you uh, you you know you, you come up with these schematics that uh, anyone anywhere DIY do it yourself right can do it we don't need these large corporations selling us a hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollar tractor we don't need these organizations basically buying up all these rice fields so they can run it and make a, a, a lesser quality rice I've witnessed the quality of Japanese rice fall ever since you know since I've been here only because they're you know the cooperatives taking over the rice fields just don't have the manpower to uh, to manage the additional rice fields that are always rushing and they're not producing the rice as they used to, which is uh, laborious. But AI driven, you know, um, I call the uh, ag day, right? The agricultural day, same thing with education. There's absolutely no reason why you cannot have autonomous learning that I described back in 2008, right? To uh, Peter Diametris that uh, removes the teacher and school barrier. Um, having AI that looks through the camera, recognizes when a student isn't paying attention, and switches it up. Having the avatar being the parent, the father, the mother, right, of a, of a child who doesn't even speak to teach him language. So I'm there, like I'm talking to you right now, I'm talking to my child, and doing simple learning cues and stuff, um, and taking my voice and putting it onto, you know, onto a, to a learning agent that then delivers it, you know, language arts and teaching Japanese, English, just by a child playing and looking at me and I'm doing phonics and other things. The, all these, these are all zero marginal cost solutions that ultimately can, um, can come about um, and organized by these distributive autonomous entities or decentralized autonomous entities. They're both distributive and, and decentralized because they stack days are not in competition with the, with another and see that's the other new paradigm change of social beneficial capitalism in the in the paradigm of social beneficial capitalism which has nothing with socialism like social media social beneficial capitalism it's society that these days benefit so one day is connected to another day and connected to another day and create another day and so on all these farming it doesn't matter who buys the rice as long as it's a day, because it all provides a dividend back. And the rice farmer is getting a dividend, the consumer, the collaborators, everyone's getting a dividend out of, out of the zero marginal cost society. So this is the why of the blockchain, folks, right? This is why the blockchain, Bitcoin, and AI exist. This is something that is right here on the mine zodiac, um, right? The foundation is on these blocks, then there's Undaudu, that's me talking to you. I'm just a sadhu, I'm a monk living in the heartland of Zen. I have no team, I don't have, you don't have deep pockets. All I have is I can tell you the story on how things unfold. It's up to you, your network, your access to capital to make it happen. And reaching out to me and say, listen, Michael, listen, Undaudu, I go by Undaudu now, right? Um, I, I'd like to help. I can bring this to the table. Let's make it happen. I'm waiting to hear from you. Undow do. And I'll finish with a little bit of chanting. Bitcoin will become the Bitcoin standard and unravel fiat. DAO, DAOs 
launched as days will unravel the corporation, usurp Wall Street, and replace the wealth and power cycle um, and do a distributive unconsciousness, an AI, I do, it's never gonna be conscious, it's feeding on all this distributive data, right? Is gonna manage it all and change everything. I'm Mundao Du, telling you what will unfold and hoping that you'll join in this crazy effort and maybe just maybe save humanity and the living systems on our planet before it's too late. Take care.